What do you do when client wants a balloon display, but they don't want you to attach anything to their walls? Or what if you do need to do a setup outside, but there is no structure to attach anywhere nearby? I love using different bases for my displays, and I always recommend to my students who are just starting off to invest in a base. In this video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite bases and how I use them. First up, KR board. So KR board is the wooden board that gives you an opportunity to put balloons all around it. You can have them in different shapes, sizes, and different textures. You can always repaint the KR boards to make it match any theme that your client wants. Typically, to create a display, you would use several different KR boards to create a depth and dimension. And you can personalize your KR board in so many different ways, like you can put a grass on it or a wallpaper on it, or even just the vinyl to personalize it for your client. Next up are pipe base creations. And when I'm talking about the pipe base creations, I mean columns, our square creations, and our arches. These are very cheap and easy to make by using supplies from your local hardware store, and they're very easy to transport, and you can play with the sizes and shapes of it. In our inventory, we have smaller creations like this pipe columns behind me. We also have big 3D pipe creations. But you don't have to only make square pipe creations. You can also make arches. The balloon arch is the structure that you can make when you're just starting off because it's very easy and simple to make. It's very easy to transport and a lot of people always order that. But when I'm talking about arches, it doesn't have to be just a pipe arch. You can make an arch out of the wood like the one behind me. This is the rainbow arch that we use to add to our KR boards or you can add it to other items that you have available in your inventory. It is good to have because the boho theme is very trendy right now and you do want to stay on top of the trends. If you are looking to start small, then this next base is for you. Here we're talking about the land base. It is very easy to transport, it is very affordable to purchase, and it is very easy to work with. You can find more information and tutorials about how to work with the land base right over here. And these were some of my favorite bases that I use to create my displays. If you would like to learn more about how to create your own bases, we have a lot of different tutorials inside of our online membership school. Inside Decor Lab School, we show you step-by-step -step on how to build different bases with list of tools and materials with links. Go to decorlabschool.com to become a member today, and I will see you in the next video.